hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to this family welcome thank you so much for stopping by today i'm going to be showing you guys on how you can easily achieve feeding braids or cornrow okay and if you're a beginner like myself this video will help you a lot okay, now i'll start patting i mean uh, my hair like yeah a straight line with my rattle comb on my left side all the way to the back and then I'll grab a little of my shine and jump gel. It can be any braiding gel of your choice, okay? And um, apply it to this the, this section. And then I'll also take a small section of the same hair we just parted in front with my uh, my small comb and divide it into three and start conrowing the front to make it look more natural before feeding in with our braiding extension, okay? So basically I did about three or four steps braiding from the um, front before adding my braiding extension. Now after doing three to four steps braiding, then pick a thin hair, I mean your braiding extension, add it to your hair, then you braid it together with your hair, okay? So feeding braids is the same as um, doing the normal individual braids, but the only difference here is adding or feeding your hair with a braiding extension, yeah. So usually what I do when doing feeding braids is um, the strand of extension that I take, I'll make sure that I hold the middle side and bend it with my thumb and then my index fingers so that I can get two equal sizes of the extension. And then I'll place it on my hair, then braid with it. So you'll see that you'll get one strand on your right side and then another strand of the hair extension on the left side. And um, when you place the strand of the extension on your hair, then you take the other hair behind the hair in front i mean the hair extension in front backwards and then you braid with it and after that you grab the extension in front you take it backwards and then keep braiding with it so literally that was what i kept on doing until i was able to achieve my feeding braids or cornrow the sizes of the strand of hair extension you will use for your feeding braids or cornrow will also increase the sizes of your braids okay and it's also advisable to start with a thin hair i mean a thin hair of the braiding extension and if you don't um, know how to do feeding braids or cornrow don't worry at all okay with time you will get it and you will even forget that some time ago you were struggling to do feeding braids for me this is my second time of doing feeding braids the first time i tried it didn't go well at all so i give myself more time to learn and practice even though um i see myself as a beginner i think that it's um better than before so i always say that if you try something and it doesn't work or it didn't work be patient and don't give up easily okay you will surely get it one day and just remember that it's a matter of time also keep in mind that one day you will get it so have the can-do spirit and keep moving guys now i'm done conrowing the left side of my head i'll move on to the right side okay and um, i sprayed some water to the hair because my hair was getting dry and after um, patting a straight line all the way to the back with my rat tail comb i will apply my shine and jam gel to the section and then comb it comb the hair a little and start braiding from the front to make it look more natural okay so as i said do about um three to four steps braiding from the front of your hair before feeding in with your braiding extension okay guys now let's go over the braiding again when you place um the strand of the extension on your hair then you take the other hair behind the hair in front backwards okay and then you braid with it and after that you grab um, the extension in front and take it backwards and keep braiding okay so as i said earlier feeding braids is the same as doing the normal um, individual braids but the only difference is adding or feeding your hair with the braiding extension guys now let me keep quiet so that we can all follow along okay as you know sometimes it's better to watch to grab than to listen yes exactly Staring at herself in the mirror on the restroom door 
Voices in her head that mirror what she's heard before All the things they said to hold her back They never seem to leave her head And tend to keep her mind at war All the things they said to hold her back They keep her locked inside of all the times When she's been hurt before Her eyes are swollen as she tries to hold Guys, thank you so much for watching up to this end. I'm grateful. Yeah, after braiding, I remove all the flyaways with my scissors and then take a, a hair needle and thread to sew the braids in the back together. The thread I use is the yarn thread. I'll also feed the ends of the braids with some accessories. I use about um, four accessories, okay? Then I'll lay my edges with my ORS olive oil edge control gel with the help of my edge brush I got from my beauty supply store. And then go over the edges with the same ORS olive oil black edge control gel. If you are using the ORS olive oil um, black edge control gel, just take a little amount with your edge brush, okay? Don't take too much. So I will apply the ORS olive oil hair mousse to lay all the excess flyaways on the body of the braids. Hey guys, I'll wrap my head with my head wrap you all will see very soon and dip the ends of the braids in hot water. Please be extra careful whilst using hot water, okay, so that you don't burn yourself. And after that, I'll dry the ends of the base with my towel. Yes, this is basically the end of today's tutorial. Hope you are going to give this hairstyle a try. Please comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Mwah.